we go back to Liz. Yes. Um, you, after your lecture at 11 o'clock, go to the library. This uh, is post, so you're probably walking towards the uh, I was actually going to see if I could catch my occult lecturer. Sure. Because he's a fucking cool dude. Is there literally an occult? Yes. Are there is a fucking occult lecturer. The Miskatonic University was once widely renowned for its occult studies back in the 1920s towards the 1940s until it sort of rebranded in the past, like, 20 years as a more technical college, university, so that it will get funding. (laughs) Um, (laughs) I was like, I wonder why. (laughs) Yep. (laughs) Uh, So she's going to catch him. And she's going to ask if he knows anything about, like, the significance of spiral shapes or spirals, like, across subcultures or as, like, a general thing. If it holds any, like, specific significance Um, or has a wider thing. So your occult um, lecturer, uh, Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Um, uh, Alfred Armitage, Mm -hmm. um, listens to this. He... 51, which is a success on his occult skill. He, um... Yes, um, I think mm, it would... The spiral, um, it's commonly uh, used in certain uh, organizations, occultic organizations, you know, ancient ones. Mm -hmm. um, Symbols of um, sometimes madness, sometimes worship sometimes um, representing something like life itself constantly going downwards until it pinpoints and ends Um, it really depends on what field you're looking into Um, certain cults based around astrology believe different things from cults based around Mm -hmm. more religious ideas Um, I believe it comes up in alchemy every once in a while um a demonology sometimes uh, it's a it's a sh- you know a shape it's mm. quite varied in its use um, within okay. these fields. And um, uh, why is this though? Um, I've never heard you ask such questions before. Oh well, I just I read something on it how like geometric shapes sometimes have separate meanings depending on ah, yes. what they're referred to. Mm. I was just curious. Mm. Uh, also, is is there any reference in like? some maybe less popular uh, occult knowledge to blood touching gold or blood on gold. Is that something that has like common significance or would that be? Mm. Unless it's in symbolism, not particularly. Okay. Um, sometimes, again with alchemy, a blood sacrifice maybe on lead to make mm. gold or something uh, like that. Um, or perhaps, um, again, certain spells by um, that cults believe would work, such and such as that. Mm. Other than symbolic representation, no, not particularly. Okay. No. Uh, any other questions? Uh, no, that should be good, thanks. Mm. Of course, I will carry on then. Okay. Good day. And he uh, leaves. Yep, and she is going to new down mm. to the library. Um, yes, so, could you make me a library use roll? 64. That's a success, I yep, believe. Yep, yep, yep. Just so, about. Looking through. Oh, my hair's still wet. You don't find, um, books specifically on the importance of the spiral. Um, there's references to books about it, um, specifically one, um, Translated as like a, the darkness of the spiral or the shade of the spiral, something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a, a, tr- a Latin term called yes. et helis um, uh, ubu. Uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna save yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> spell it out for you. O b u m b r a t i o. O b o b u m o b u m the, uh, what's that? Obembratio. Obembratio. That's it. Oh. Yes. Obembratio. Et helis obembratio. Which is the dark spirals? Something like that. Um, and you find there are references to such a book recently being in Arkham. Um, certain people have talked about it. This is the librarian talking to you about this. Um, 
yeah, she's heard that some people have that book in Arkham, apparently. Probably high class collectors. I don't, she doesn't know. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, yeah, you don't, you do not know. Uh, would they have that for study, or would you say it's more just a novelty? The book itself, there's not a lot of information on it. Hmm. Um, I'd be asking the librarian. What, as if? People would have come in to like ask about the book, borrow the book, order the book, etc. Well, could you rephrase that? What are you asking about? Oh, oh she, so she's asking the librarian. So the people that have it in Arkham, would you guess that that's like for study or for just it's a novelty? Uh, it could be either, particularly. Okay. Um, it's a very old book, so mm. probably just more as a statement than anything. Yeah. Um, okay. Yes. Um, anything else you want to look into? Uh, references... Uh, anything that references four people, like the Skull of the War, the Forgotten Man of Wards, anything in... So besides like that. general myths, which mm. has like that sort of selection of characters, mm. not really. Okay. Well, are the myths about? Uh, general myth tales, you know, a uh, dark king invading a place, mm. the four warriors of light go ah, okay. and vanquish it, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else should I look into? Um, a question. Yes. After this, would you be walking to the, um, the yellow raincoat? Oh, uh, were we going to meet up there or was I going to ring them? That was the place you had arranged to meet. Okay, at. yeah, sure, I'll go there. Could you make me a power roll? Oh shit, okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just teleport. <laughs> uh, what is that? 11. Damn. As you're walking That's back. An extreme success. Hmm, yeah. That is an extreme success. Wait, how do you know? She's dealt with the shit. Oh, it's if the it, little box. It's less than the wrong. smallest number. Yeah, so if it's, it's below any of those, um, it's a hard success for the top one and an extreme success for the. If low. you look in the bottom. <laughs> oh, yeah, first of all. Look, look, so, sorry, I'm oh, a no, cock noob. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, look, look in the bottom left. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Um, yeah. You, as you're walking back, you stop suddenly, you see something at the corner of your eye. Mm. Your heart beats for a second because you can't tell if this thing is real or not. You think you see a tall figure. Robed in black, lanky, at least seven foot in mm -hmm. height. You see faint glimpse of metal protruding from its neck. You see a face that you can't tell if it has one or not. Mm -hmm. As you glance, though, it disappears. Yeah. It must have just been. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you continue on your way. Now... You all meet up at the yellow raincoat. Oh, I thought we were going straight to oh, the... Yes, we, um, were, yeah, we, we were, were heading straight to... to his flat. You were going straight to his flat? No, we weren't going to his flat. We were going to the um, flat tenant to try oh, and get the, the key. The landlord, yes. The landlord, yeah. yes. Um, it's landlady. Um, it's, it's, 2019, it's of 2019, course. 2019, also I know that down. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. My name's Sarah. Oh. Um... Second name isn't important because I didn't write one down. All right. Um, Sarah, just Sarah. Yeah, it's just Sarah. Um, she lives sort of close by, bigger house than sort of surrounding ones. Uh, she owns a fair amount of property in Arkham. Um, would you have called her beforehand to have asked to meet up uh, concerning Jack? Yes, but can I try and? Um... Mm -hmm. Make me see, make the subject not directly about Jack. Of course. So I'll call her up and I'll be like, "Hi, oh, yes. Uh, this is a concerned citizen uh, calling about uh, a um, a matter involving one of your tenants. Uh, this is important. I need oh. to meet with you as soon as oh. possible." Of course. Um, yes. Um, she says you notice a bit worry in her voice. So you can assume she knows who you're talking about. Hmm. Um, and she um, gives you her address. <laughs> okay. of, of course, you've already figured it out through researching, mm -hmm. but she gives you it. We're already nearly there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're like outside. <laughs> uh, uh, I assume you wait a bit before. <laughs> yeah. Just sit instantly. <laughs> I, just happen, I just happen to be power walking nearby when you call. I don't know if any of you have just... that reference. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. uh, 
<laughs> yes. Um, a bit later, you... Demons! <laughs> um, yeah. you, you knock on the door, <laughs> and um, this um, woman about the 50s um, answers. Oh, hello, you must be the people who... Uh, you must be the man who called me. Um, uh, yes. W- w- come on in. What is it you wanted to talk about? Sorry, um, I pulled out my friend. head. It's just like, <laughs> yes, we are um, personally investigating the uh, missing person, Jack Felon, who we think of... Uh, uh, may have gone missing within uh, one of your buildings uh, mm. that um, you know he he was living in. Uh, have you been in the building since he was filed missing? I had a glance around the, uh, when I heard the news. Um, right, nothing there that I could see. I didn't really pry into his stuff. I I'm, I've sort of been waiting for the police to um, ask for that sort of thing. Oh, I'm... so the police haven't yeah, been in the haven't building. Yeah, they haven't done shit. No, N- um, no, the. I was contacted by the, invest- the lead investigator. Uh, I think his name was uh, Todrick, something like that. He um, he contacted me about the idea, but they never got back afterwards. Right. I see. Well, we're following up on that. Oh, um, okay. We're trying to. Um, yeah, we just need a key so we can go in and check inside. Make me either a persuade or a charm roll. Uh, same roll. <laughs> I mean, which would you prefer to use in this situation? Um, she's an old lady. She's persuade. Like persuade to me. Yeah, I yeah. feel like this is a persuade because if I'm like, "Hey, you should let us in," then she's gonna be like, "Hey, you're no. a widow. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you're okay. fifty. That's old, right? Just come settle down with me." <laughs> so, um, okay. so make me. A... That's a Ooh. twenty-six, which for my persuade is a is a hard thing. Ah. That's the that's the top. Yeah. Top, top one, yeah, top yeah, one. Fair That's enough. a hard success. So, she goes, uh, of course, yes, uh, yes, of course, yes. She got a regular success on her, so hmm. you win in this case. I was fully ready to come in there with an intimidate. <laughs> 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 I don't think you quite understand the situation. Um, <laughs> yes. um, just gonna flex on this fifty-year-old right. woman. <laughs> I'm, I feel like she's the kind of woman to pull out a gun, though. I feel like. <laughs> Sarah, just Sarah, is totally the kind of woman because she's, you know, she's she, she's got like a she owns property, she has value. Some, she's not going to take just shit. Just reaches from behind yeah. the chair and pulls out a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll I'll take you to the palace and I'll let you in. Oh, thank you. And then she, I'll put my head back up as yeah. we go outside. Yeah, if a rain happens, she's oh dear, and she pulls up an umbrella and <laughs> leads you to his flat. Which mm-hmm. is secretly a gun. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a fucking penguin guy. You know? oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, it's the fucking umbrella gun from um, Kingsman. Kingsman. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, <I was> <laughs> so Jack lives on the north end of Arkham in a small one bedroom apartment on the second floor of a house that has been converted into two separate apartments. Um, the building has a simple layout uh, as you enter. Uh, there's a hall which connects to a bedroom, a bathroom, a kitchen, and a large spare room that you know has been converted, converted into an office slash library space. Okay. Um, she sort of just mentioned she's going to wait outside and let you do what you do. Um, we really appreciate the help, ma'am. Thank you. Um, if anything, to help. He's He's been a lovely lad. He'd never paid his rent. Um, oh. Late. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 so I'll, I'll just I'll just say uh, not even uh, so uh, just uh, as a formal mm. thing um, we need to check. So he was paying his rent all the way up until the. Um, well, actually, when do you? How do you handle rent? End of the month. End of the month. Okay, so, uh, you, then he yes. Uh, so I assumed he paid his month. Uh, yes. his rent this month as yes. well. Yes. When did he pay that? At the um, start? He paid it at the start of the month. Oh, okay. He uh, he. Nor- the deadline is the end of the month, but he normally pays it at the beginning. Mm. So you um you wouldn't have noticed anything off about it at all. Does he does he normally contact you in not, any way? Not really. I just get you know the money comes into my bank account with the um, note saying who is it, who is it's from, and then that's it. Okay. I'll even be as you can tell, he's got motions. The house is perfectly tidy, if a bit dusty now. Um, Keeps the place in perfectly good order. The uh, as another question to you: Do you happen to own any property or lease any property on College Street? Um, one or I have a house there. Yeah. Um, no, not connected though. Um, old old couple 
Uh, oh, it's level. 80 years old. Perfect. Uh, so, uh, yes, uh, in that case, I won't tell her what the address is. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, in that case, I said, uh, perfect. So, we're now going to go take a look in, make, uh, make some notes on what's inside. Um, uh, I, she's, she hasn't given us the key, she's just opened the she's door. She's opened the door, right. dear. Uh, do you mind if you wait here for a second? I was going to anyway. Okay, and then we'll head inside. You head inside. So, any specific rooms we're going to check out. Could you please give me the layout again? So, um, I'll do a quick sort of uh, map. But it's, thank you. It's essentially a hall which connects to like a bathroom, a mm-hmm. bedroom, a main sort of living space. A bit like this house, but imagine like an additional room where the airing cupboard would be. Yeah. Um, and that would be the entrance to like a, a large like office space. Okay. Essentially, that's what it's like. So. What um what I'm gonna do actually mm-hmm. is that I'm not being particularly overt about it, mm-hmm. but I am gonna do a sort of semi-military breach and clear style thing, <laughs> um where I'm basically just gonna subtly say just stand here for a minute, mm-hmm. and I will just check. So but you check before you do that, I'll ask you to be careful about disturbing dust, and then. Mm. And I'll wait at the door. So I, I'm literally the main, <laughs> the main thing I'm doing is I am just going to triple check that there's nobody here, mm. and also triple check that there aren't actually there isn't actually a body. Here. Yeah. Um. So I, you know, I go down the corridor and I, you know, I, I clear each room. I, I, I know he's of military bearing, so I, I assume he knows what he's doing. So I just kind of uh, nod as he does this. Like, Can you make me a spot hidden roll. <laughs> oh <Fuck>. no! <laughs> Why would you? The left <laughs> leg of <laughs> <laughs> Jack Felon. This is just a shotgun trap. On the door. You just open the door and explode. <laughs> oh no! It's oh, just, just like it's oh, like okay. that one episode of Jessica Jones. <laughs> <laughs> it's like in Jessica Jones where he just go into that one house and then they're just like, hmm, there's a missing that is, person. That there. is a fail. And there's just okay. like 50 um, boxes so of C4 in one room. You don't room notice like... anything in particular, but yes, the house is empty. Okay. <laughs> uh, do, do I notice any smells? Nope. Any any unusual scents? Not really. No. Not Fine. that you can tell. Everything good in? Dust. A bit of. You can sort of smell. Probably like rotten food, maybe, from where it's been a. Like from where like it's been in like the fridge for like a week too long. Yeah, I'm not going to open the fridge. No. I'm just going to leave that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so... So yeah, I'm I, just, I just nod you forward and I'm just like... That's of note. The fridge. Uh, I would say, no, but it's interesting because uh, if his fridge is... Can I have my pencil back, please? Huh? Pen. Oh, yes, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Um, if his fridge is stocked, he wasn't planning on going anywhere. Mm. But still don't open it, please. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yes, um, are you also sort of checking throughout the rooms? Yes, oh, I will now go and check the rooms. So I'll give a general description of all of them. The bedroom, um, it's quite a simple double bedroom bed with a wardrobe, desk, like desk set of drawers, that sort of thing, clothes. Um, the kitchen and the living room are standard affair. There's a TV with like games consoles connected. Do you mind if you could draw the map on the, sure. this empty page? Not the one with t.mod. <laughs> oh, right. Um, like this or like this? Whatever works. Okay. Um, I was genuinely worried for a second you were going to find a body. <laughs> yeah, well, that's why I checked. Mm. Um... Because obviously, I think that would as, probably upset. When you're searching for a missing person and you enter somewhere where they frequent, that is the first thing you do. Is you yeah. go, "Are they dead here?" <laughs> so, um, I suppose as we're kind of looking around. Oh wait, no, never mind. I don't know that. Because I was just double checking. I was <laughs> wanting to make sure the bath wasn't like full of blood. I have, I have <laughs> some ideas. But I can't know them yet because I don't know all the pieces until I talk to you two. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you were right with the, um, with the the, the booty. Oh yeah, booty um, sacrifice yeah. system. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you very much. <laughs> booty bait <laughs> system. It's uh, a classic. Uh, yes, it's not the best, but that's a general map. Again, it's I mean, basically the same, but just imagine like that hallway was longer to allow more space in the bedroom and office. It's yes. quite bad and probably unintelligible because it's quite office, bed, living uh bathroom, kitchen. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um, uh, but yes. I also hope that 
booty bait prediction is only for this case. Wasn't there like a, a young child that was kidnapped oh, in one yeah. of the previous cases? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, no. well, I don't know about that yet because I, <laughs> I have a giga theory coming up. So, I've made some notes. Um, what I. Uh, so, yes. Uh, so, we come could in. You this make way. me a, a spot hidden roll. Please. Yes, I am good at that. Spot hidden. Spot. Spot. Never mind. No. I rolled nat sixty, and that is not not good enough. What's this for, Helen? Forty. Forty. Okay. So, the, um, as you go through, mm-hmm. um, first you go to the bedroom. Yep. Um, doesn't yield anything too much. Uh, looking through cupboards and drawers, um, you eventually turn out his like laptop. Which has charge, a tiny sliver of charge. It's a laptop. Um, yes, <laughs> the laptop. Then uh, I said, yeah, I said it's a laptop. It's yeah. not going to have much charge. <laughs> no. Um, uh, other than that, nothing in his bedroom. Um, after going through the search, you go into the office slash library. Uh, this is this is what time is this? Because when she, when she reaches this is the probably thing... this is probably about. <clears throat> 10 going on to 11. So if oh, you keep okay. in mind that your lecture is probably two hours yeah, long. Yeah, never mind. I was yeah. just going to say she texts you and gives you a, like, no. a book name. Um, That's not... She hasn't found that yet. Yep. Um, but yes. Um, can I look through... Oh, actually, I'll talk to you as well. I want you to mm. be where I am, like, mentally. Mm-hmm. Um, so I look through and like, if he was looking to whatever the spiral stuff is, mm-hmm. I suspect he did some form of research. Mm. And if we're going to find that research, I suspect it will either be in his bedroom or his office. Mm. Yes. So we should look for anything strange out of the ordinary, cult e, um, yes. any Latin, anything like that. Go. We need to go find, find something. Mm. If not that, see if we can find any receipts. Mm. Uh, if he has any bins anywhere, if they're full, what's in them? Um, as I know, guys, just so you know the mechanic, yeah. in case you ever want to use it, you have luck scores, yep. which can be used to influence your rolls yes. to bring them to successes. <clears throat> yep. um, you can also push a roll, which is when you get a roll, you can, if you can think of a feasible way you could try again, but with a uh, like an added caveat, like, um, let's say I try to open the door, but this time with a crowbar, crowbar or um, I look up information about the person and then search his house. Mm-hmm. Um, you can, uh, or like you go by your knowledge of that, so on and so forth. You can roll it again, but the only uh, opposite will be that the uh, if it's a failure, it is a critical failure. Ah. Mm-hmm. Um, but you can't do it in combat and sanity. No. Or insanity, no, because you're crazy. And uh, <laughs> you can't think up more reasons than run. Um, no, yeah. as in for a sanity roll. Yeah. Or yeah. a combat yeah. roll. Yeah. Um, okay. Also, while insane, it's hard to use. Yes. You cannot use luck, I believe. I don't want to push my luck until later. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> because um, if I fail now, then I'm basically wasted coming here. Yeah. Um, um, so, let's take a look. So, as you go into the office library, as I said, it's a, his personal study is a mess of books. Mm. Most about biology and other sciences, as you look across. There are a few textbooks on dead languages, uh, such as ancient Egyptian or Latin. Sorting system. Uh, we'll make two piles, sorry, three piles, relevant, um, possibly relevant and irrelevant. Yeah. Um, anything to do with his university, so, uh, any maths courses, sort that into the possibly relevant, because he might have left notes in the pages, like right. a bookmark or anything. Um, let's have a look. Let's start sorting. Finally, also, in here is also his personal computer, which... Is it PC? It's PC. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, da- in which, okay. by the way, turning it on, it does turn on perfectly fine, but it does have a password to access what, it. What operating system? No, I can't. Um, <laughs> it's uh, Windows 7, in fact. 7? Yeah. Oh, I could. <laughs> oh, oh, don't. <laughs> could you make me a computer use skill? Yes. I saw the subject tutorial once. Yes. Um, computer use. What happens if it's empty? <laughs> what? It'll be the It'll number, be the number the next side. to it. So you need to get a five, five. below. 
you can go ahead. <laughs> I mean, you don't. If you do, you get an, you get a check on your computer. You skip. By the way, you rolled an eleven, didn't you? Yes. Uh, what skill did you get eleven on? Oh, good. it was a power check. Oh, it was a power check. Never mind then. Hmm. If anyone notes, by the way, if you get underneath fifteen, tell <gasps> me what. What'd you get? Oh, I got a fucking, fucking six. six. Oh. Do you want to use a point of luck? Yes. You use a, <laughs> use a single point of luck. You get. Oh. You, you, you check your computer. Uh, could you put a little tick next to your computer use? <laughs> yes. As that will improve at the end of the session. Shit. Damn. All right. Oh, so my luck is now fifty nine. Is that how that works? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So it's. Oh, that's cool. Um, and is that like? Karma and Shadowrun? So will it... Not th- Karma, what am I thinking I of? I don't uh, think it... No, um, you're edge. looking about Edge. edge so yeah. does it well, come back at next session? Or at the luck? end of every or is story? Just... Luck it... um, comes back, I believe, through completing stuff. I'll look up in the book. It's not okay. completely relevant now. But okay, yeah, just, uh, just so we know. Alright, um, um, all right, in that case, what I'm going to do <laughs> is I... Uh, at some point, I, I saw a YouTube video <laughs> in the past... <laughs> Well, somebody on on any Windows operating system in Windows Seven, you can actually bypass the login screen by um, effectively fooling it into thinking it's breaking. It will then give you a system recovery message, which is in a notepad. And because it's in a notepad, you can then um, open up the file directory, <laughs> copy over um, effectively the. Um, sticky keys. Rename that to the command prompt thing, so that um, and like vice yeah. versa, so that when you're on the operating thing, if you press shift three times, it opens a command prompt window. <laughs> Upon doing so, you can run explorer.exe as a process, which will give the login screen a home bar at the bottom, which allows you to then uh, act like get to where you need to to find out um, because okay. the system is an administrator. Uh, so then you, I can just basically print out his password and then use that to log in. Oh. Takes about. You can tell to, he to... almost got expelled over this. <laughs> 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 um, you. Uh, this. It takes you about three, four attempts to fully real remember how to yeah. do it. You might have to get the toy up on your phone. Just, just like real life, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you. But you do get into his computer. Um. His computer is clearly used for general research, communication, and word processing. On it, you will find conversation between him and his girlfriend, but you need to hop through various social media platforms to get an idea on their conversations. I have a handout for you for their most recent thing, which was sent about an hour ago. Nani! Or by her, surely. No. Nani! (laughs) Nani! (laughs) Oh, this is nice. You just send him a text. Where the fuck are you? We're at. We're in your house on your computer. Also, um, as you both are searching for it, could you both make me another spot hidden, please? Yes, indeed. Um, spot as hidden. A, as yeah, the bo- original one was for the bedroom, <laughs> and this is for. The different you just room. look at the ceiling. Jack is like taped himself <laughs> to the roof. <laughs> is it like just that? Is it like that land party <laughs> thing? <where you're... laughs> I was thinking more like from um, Resident Evil. Oh, things well. are on the roof that just oh, kind well. of like <laughs> and then drop. So then the spot hidden is for fail. Uh, I do not twenty nine. Fair enough. Which uh, so as in so I succeed. Uh, I don't get oh, actually wait. Oh yeah. That's a, yeah. You succeed the spot hidden. Yeah, I succeed. Do you I succeed? get this and you look up and you realise one of the bookshelves is um, hiding uh, something behind it, like an alcove. But first we have a handout. Yes. So I log in, um, and it's Windows 7, so it doesn't really do much. It takes a while. <laughs> but um, once it's up there, uh, I open... Uh, I bloody hope he uses Chrome. He, he uses Firefox. Yeah, it'll do. <laughs> I open Firefox, uh, and it will like uh, um, open up his most recent tabs. Mm. One of them is probably Facebook. This looks yeah. like Messenger to me. Yeah. So, um, it's actually, uh, I, I fake text. Oh, nice. That's, <laughs> that's, that's good shit. Um, then you, uh, uh, like, I, I'll basically read it. Uh, and I can see sent from this computer, it says, Hello, Jess. <laughs> Jack, are you okay? It's been days. <laughs> yes, I'm fine. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. Where have you been? What's happened? It's all okay, Jess. Hey, I need to come see you again. Can we meet up? Of course! Come meet me in my house! 
location attached. <laughs> but, <laughs> Just in case you forgot. Where I well, live. Well, well, it, imagine it a bit more like the uh, you know when you like tap yeah, and it shows where you are. Yeah. But I can't really show that because yeah. I have to get like an actual Google map and post yeah, it in yeah, Photoshop. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, I couldn't be fucked to try and do that. That's fair enough. <laughs> so uh, we now know her uh, like her location. Is I, that her house location? That would be her house location. Yeah, so it says you... I'm at my house. Yeah. Um, and that was. Uh, an hour ago. Yes. Is that? Uh, do we know that that was sent from this computer? Uh, no, it's it... sent from the user. So no. it's oh, okay. probably from the phone because we know that it's from the. F- uh, uh, they've been talking about via phone, or at um, least he does. We don't know yet, but we can assume. Yes. Well, my current theory is just got completely blown out of the water, so that's all good. I. Th- hmm. Okay. Uh, but yes, you have noticed that there is this. Bookshelf hiding in an alcove. Um, so yeah, I turn around like as I look over my shoulder towards you uh, to tell you what this is, right? Because I assume you're like looking over my shoulder, like. Well, I'm money. mostly I'm mostly um, dealing with the books at the minute. Uh, I'll, like as I look over, I'm like, wait, wait a second. What what's that? I point over to the bookshelf. What's behind it? There's something I, behind it. I use my immense size. Hmm. It's like behind it. It's like a alcove going into the wall. Okay, cool. So I move this bookshelf with his big strength. <laughs> <laughs> with my big so strong arms, you just run at it. <laughs> you just flex at the bookshelf, and it's it like just rubs under one of the shelves and just. <laughs> As you pull it away, both of you. Well. Oh no! No, he does. Oh, yeah, he's still I'm, both I'm of not you, pulling that down. I'm continuing. <laughs> both yeah. of you. The first thing that catches your eye as the bookshelf is moved is the darkness of the alcove. It seems even the electric light hanging from the ceiling doesn't reach properly to illuminate this space. As one of you pull your phone and turn on your torch, you suddenly see the brown-red words on the walls of the alcove. <laughs> oh, good. The old dried blood spells out in frantic letters, first at the middle of this sort of curved space, and then going outwards. The pain is eternal, it is eternal, it is eternal, it is eternal, before eventually descending into it hurts, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts, going around. As Could both of you make me a sanity check? Uh, how do I do you that? You roll me a D100 and tell me if it gets below or above your sanity. That's above my sanity. Could by you quite could, a lot. Could That's you, a 90. Could you please roll me 1D6? You? 67, which is, is above my sanity of 45. You both roll me 1D6, please. Do you want to use my metal dice? 6. I, I would love to. You, you take 6 points of sanity damage. Oh, good. I take five. You take five. Both We're of both you, pretty fucking spooked by this both of giga you are shrine. and paralyzed with it. You don't suffer about of madness, because there's nothing oh. maddening about this, but it shocks you and you stumble backwards. It takes a while for you to notice there is in fact a desk in this alcove. It's also riddled with decorations of it hurts all over. Mm-hmm. Atop it, though, is a large amount of spiral-shaped paraphernalia, old fossils, shells, and drawings of fingertips and the Coachella in the ear. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna FaceTime. <laughs> <laughs> She's in like a coffee shop. Let me finish. Just... Wait, there's more. Atop all of that, though, it's a gold is a book and a journal oh, with boy. a loaded revolver next to it. Oh, oh good. Oh. Can I take the revolver? Because you've got a gun. <laughs> Not on. Oh, actually, yeah, you have the gun. I don't know how to use guns. I'll, I'll take the gun, shall I? Yes, can I well, take fact, some no, spiral I think, paraphernalia? I think neither of us should take the gun, actually. Ah, <laughs> shit. Let's just take photos of everything. Let's yes. take photographs. And FaceTime <laughs> this person, please. Yeah, yeah, you, you get on that. I, I'm still um, recording stuff, because he obviously he'll need to know. Mm. Um, as a note, there is a title on the book, and it is... It halis, um, uh, ob- it. It, it's it's it, the it's, one. It's the book. The book. It, it, it's halis ob 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 ob
Ah. Oh, good. So he's translated it. So. So okay. So yeah, I ring Liz. You so, get the call. I'm gonna put um, the book in my bag. You hear, <laughs> you hear um, Sarah. I think her name was. Just yeah. Sarah from the outside. Is everything okay in there? Uh, I'll I'll, I'll just be like, oh, and then I'll, I'll go outside. Uh, also, I'm gonna take the book. Can I put? Do you mind if I put the book in my bag? Just because the, the the translation of the spiral, because I feel like that'll be useful. Yeah, it's fine. Um, the actual After book is taking pictures of everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so yes. Um, yeah. So I'll I'll head out and go talk to her, and be like, hi. <laughs> is everything okay? And then the kids come in. Yeah. So yes. She's like walking. She hasn't gone to the cafe yet. Yeah. So I'm. I'm... Do, you, do you accept this call from? Oh this yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I assume it's important. Um, hi. Hi, that's not a good tone. What happened? Oh, uh, you... You probably want to see this. Um... Why? What have you got? I, 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 hmm. So we're at, we're at Jack's place. Right. And, um... We stumbled across a small secret room that he had. Wait, you're inside? Yes. How did you swing that? I, I, that's not rather than. That sounds like you broke in. <laughs> look, no, we um, did. We did something. I'll tell you what. <laughs> just, just look at that. I swing the phone yeah. around. Yeah. Um, <laughs> luckily, you Ooh. won't need to make a sanity check because you're not at the place. And I've seen it before. What you've the, the writing? You haven't seen the writing before. You've just I've heard seen, it. You've, heard, he you've heard the words. Ah, it hurts. Okay. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. What was like, that dream, by the way? Heard this morning and two other times. Oh, cool. <laughs> so, oh, looking wait. back on it now, when I hear the voice say that, is it Jack's voice or is it's it... unintelligible? It's just okay. male. It's just word. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ah, right. Is that pain? You know from yeah, <laughs> it is blood. I can assume that I know. Okay. Uh, I'm just like. Afraid not. Right. Uh, how long will it, would it like take me to run there? Is it close to the university? It or? probably is. <laughs> it, you, you, it, it, you be, it Sam, takes at least an hour to get there probably. You should probably out. mention that arriving now would be a bad idea. Because, you know, okay. people still think we're working with the police. And if so, our, our cult <laughs> friend oh, she turns thinks up... That we're working yeah. with the police. I wasn't clear on that. Well, well, no, she doesn't. She thinks we've just broken in and that the coast is clear to come in. But it's not. There's a person at the door. <laughs> All right, yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, so I, I sort of mentioned that mm. I wouldn't come right now and we'll take lots of pictures okay. and stuff. Are you gonna So is it just <laughs> is it just words? Yeah. Do you took oh. do you take both of them? Uh yes. Yes, okay, good. Mm. Is it just words? Uh for the most part, yes. Are there any symbols or anything on the wall? It's just again, so sort of there is or she means like in the alcove. Like yeah. what's there? What have uh, we found? Well I I'm literally showing it you. Oh okay. Um, yeah, but she doesn't know that you have the yes. book. Mm. Right, yeah, okay. there was, there no, was also a book, uh, well, two books, Which and was... one was, I believe, a translation of the other. Oven Uh Yes. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> I've found some stuff on that. Okay, take it with you, don't read it. All right. Or, you said they had a translation? I think, I, I don't know the extent of the translation, it's just... Don't read that either, book. just bring it with you. Uh, anything <laughs> else? Um, mostly just a, a lot of blood. There's also the spiral stuff on the table. There are spiral pan of paraphernalia lying about on the table. Spiral pan of like shells? Shells, you know, like fossils, oh, right. as well as drawings of fingertips yeah, and so, of the Coachella in the ear. Yeah, there's mm. a lot of spiral spirally things okay, on his desk um, as well. I know he has a computer. You okay? He does some work from home. Just, this guy's a mathematician and he's fucking collecting shells. <laughs> and he's... Because all of those spirals have been documented mathematically. He's yeah. a high-level mathematician. He's found... He knows this yeah. knowledge. What the fuck so... is wrong with him? It's almost like he seems like he's a bit crazy so it's, or Yeah, something. it's like he's insane. Wow. Okay. Um, right. Uh, does he have any it's other not books? like he's written, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts in blood. On <laughs> That's reasonable for a mathematician. It's about the spirals. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How do you know I don't do that? He's a high level mathematician. That's general practice. Uh, <laughs> we usually do it in chalk because then we can do it more. <laughs> um. Yeah. I know he's got a computer because he does things from home occasionally. <laughs> Have you checked his search history? 
No, we have not. We do not. But we do know about the message. Yeah. You, if you want, you can do a library use on the computer to search through it. Uh, also, have you taken his laptop? Or uh, It was a laptop. I thought you said it was a... No, there were two. Oh, there's a laptop. Laptop. Uh, laptop well, I'm bedroom. still talking to the person outside. Yeah. So... So, yeah, as you know, there's a laptop in the bedroom and his PC is in the... Um... When I come back in, I'll, I'll probably I'll probably take his laptop because yeah. there'll be... if His internet history will be on there as well. Hmm. So we'll um, have to go grab that. Yes, do you want to make me a, a library use for the uh, computer? Um, I mean... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to go well for everybody. What did you get? I definitely failed that. What was it, though? It was a 49. It takes you about a good half an hour of searching to find anything of relevance. No, I, I said assume. click history. <laughs> oh, I know. No, no, sorry, that's a success. I forgot that I had library use. Yeah, I thought you did have library use. Uh, what kind is this regular success? Yeah, just a regular success. So you you find uh, searching through its history and eventually just through the files itself um, an Excel document with a with two names which have been color coded. Um, they are Miss S, um, which uh, is labeled House. To the right of ACC, Arkham Community Church, mm -hmm. lives with the pastor and his family. In brackets, Ben said to be cautious. The second one is Voodoo Ben. Outskirts to the north, old house. Good man, if a bit weird. <laughs> right. Um, what colours are they coded? Uh, red. Oh, both of them? Yes, both of okay. them. Just different shades. Um, so, when? How long does it take me before I can come back in? Uh, probably, probably like ten minutes. She's like, "I found anything at all?" And he's like, "No." <laughs> it's like, uh, not nothing of particular note yet. But it's we're still looking. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll, Just I'll, taking photos. Yes, um, it's fine. Uh, it's Sorry. Fine. If you want, um, we can lock up and deliver the keys back to you. Uh, do you? How long do you think you're going to be? <sighs> Maybe half an hour. I can wait. I can wait. Um. Yeah, I can wait. She um, she just stands around. She goes on her phone. She pulls up Candy Crush and <laughs> sorry, about this. it's fine. She's uh, like a fifty-year-old woman. So I'll come back in, uh, and then I'll obviously head straight back to the strange occult room that we found. Mm -hmm. uh, to for you are Sam now looking at the history. Like, mm -hmm. what have you found? Uh, yeah. So I found this Excel document. Um, and these two people pop up on it. Mm. Um, I don't know if that's of anything, any significance to you. Yeah, um, Voodoo Ben, uh, as I point over to that, the guy from the outskirts, that was the person that Sarah was talking about. Oh, yeah. The guy um, from the outskirts? Oh, the f oh uh, hello? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh uh, who's this? I like that after Liz. all this, you're, you're just sitting in the coffee shop, just like, <laughs> yeah. he said he'd get us a discount, but he's <laughs> not here yet. <laughs> I'm on my way. <laughs> um, uh, I assume that's you, Elizabeth? Uh, yeah, uh, it's me. Hi, um, yeah, so um, I'll tell you about that in a second. I think we've got almost everything. Uh, head to the um, the yellow raincoat. Yeah, I'll about gather... that. What? I'm just thinking, uh, what you've got there, the Latin thing, is an occult tome. Okay. I'm thinking maybe not a great place, you know, publicly to display that, well, and I, research that. We, we meet there, we can move somewhere else after we, we arrive. Oh, okay. But... Otherwise, Charlie is going to be on there alone. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll, we'll grab stuff, uh, take more photos and head over. It won't be too long. Um, yeah, I, I have some of those those books. I'm not going to read them. Mm. Uh, I just have them. Yeah. I'm also going to go grab a laptop for Charlie to uh, do stuff with. Uh, if you want, I've got a new string board back at, in, in the dorm room. <laughs> if you, if a that'd be a new string board. <laughs> I've got a couple. It helps. It's just uh, alone. Great. <laughs> Great, we can yeah, we we can definitely discuss doing that at the yellow raincoat. Uh, well, I mean, we don't have to. I was just no, no. That's, it would be that's, useful to pin all of our stuff together. That, that sounds like a good idea. We have a timeline, so you know we can we can do do that. You know, you have that. a charming way of making someone sound like an idiot. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> no, <laughs> so, so, is there any way? Can I? Um, 
Because we've, we've got this PC, but it's a big PC. Yeah. There's no way in hell we're going to be able to get out no. of it. <laughs> but Just leave through the window. we could take the hard drive. And I could just put is that there, in the pocket. Is there anything on this computer of note? And, and so Can I just like check the drives? It's mostly <coughs> maths work. Some like coding here and there. Um, take the drives. General... <laughs> General like research and such. This is clearly just a notation computer. It's just a work thing. Okay. He does uh, research and stuff on. Mm. You notice he's done a lot of personal research into biology and like human biology, but that's just like a hobby you can assume. That's fine. Um. Other than that, not much else of note, really. Uh, in that case, I'll say um, well, I think we can leave the computer. The laptop is where he'll do most of his work, so we okay. should take that. Um, th- so we've only checked. Uh, we've we, like we've just done two things. So um, the spiral panel for Lily in there. That, that's it's just okay. Yeah. So we have to. We're going to take the laptop. We're going to take the books. Um, mm-hmm. We're going to take one of the spirals. Mm. Don't like them. Um, because I could be useful later if someone's like, mm. "Prove to me you're a spiral worshiper." I'm like, "Yes, I have the almighty shell of spirals." <laughs> and then we can do something oh, with that. Um, just it's always useful to have a pet spiral on you. So yes. next, um. I would recommend taking one of your own as well, just in case. That... Oh yeah, no, I grab one. Yeah. Okay. Um, Do you cover the book the area back up? Oh yes, yes definitely. definitely. In fact, I cover it back up better than it was when we found it. Yeah. So I make sure that the the bookcase is right up against yeah. the wall. Like even like taking some extra books just to block up any yeah. holes. Like you, like you, you make sure it looks like some bits of stuff, so you like put them on top of the uh, yeah. bookshelf and all that. Mm. Uh, in that case. Um... Cool. Mm-hmm. The gun. Um, I think I think it would do well for us to actually just leave that there. Is the gun loaded? That's so a good you. Question. You could tell, like, because it's a revolver, you can yeah. see there were shells in it. If you like bend over, you can see. So like... if I look down the barrel of the gun. No, no, no. Again, <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's a revolver, so you can see like the yeah. So just spin the barrel. Yeah. So is it, it is loaded. It's loaded <laughs> fully. You just touch a gun in a potential crime scene without gloves on. Just leave the gun. No, we just looked at it. Yeah, they just looked at it. I can say you just looked at it. Why? Um. Why? The thing is with guns yeah. is if they get connected to anything, any fingerprints on it are a bad time. Um. And something tells me that that gun was not acquired legally. True, but it is a gun. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we should have one. I have a gun. Oh. I don't have one on me. Ah, uh, right. But I do have a gun. Okay. That that is new information to me. Okay. <laughs> um. I don't think you need one. <laughs> because, probably... no offense, but you don't look particularly apt at using one. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have a knife, though. I'll just pull out a knife. <laughs> well, a, sw- a Swiss army knife. Yeah. <laughs> legal. It's a legal knife. <laughs> you just, you just... Sorry, so you're not in the you're not in the UK. Oh <laughs> yeah. I've pull out a machete. Is it just the Swiss army knife? Yeah. How long is how long is the blade on it? <laughs> uh, it's it would be illegal in the UK, but it's it's like a it, you could stab someone with this. <laughs> Aiden just sort of raises an eyebrow like. Look, I, right. I use it mainly for the tools. I'll, I'll be honest, I've never stamped anyone with it. <laughs> um, I'd be concerned if you had. Hmm. Well, in that case, we'll leave the gun. That's probably fine. At least that way, if someone does open it up afterwards, um, and they check inside, they'll assume it hasn't been looted, because, you know, there's a gun in there. Exactly. And most people will take the gun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so... Um, so you cover it all back up? Yes, we've covered um, it all back yes. up. Do you leave after that? No, there's well, no. still rooms we haven't been to yet. Um, okay, so yeah, going. So we'll just do a quick search now because yeah. we have said that we yeah. need to go back. <laughs> yeah. So bathroom is bathroom. <coughs> much else? You've already checked the bedroom. Yes. Can I Live- just, just quickly though, is there like one of those classic American um, mirror cupboards? There are. 
Does it have medicines in it? There's like some painkillers. Anything out of the ordinary? Not particularly. Tough paste, tough right. push, that sort of thing. No? Okay, I was just checking that. Can I take the painkillers? You can take the painkillers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Call of Cthulhu painkillers is a good idea. <laughs> yes, um, the rest of the house is sort of not as eventful as the alcove. Uh, it's general affair, as I said, living room is just a sofa, uh, dining table, TV connected to games consoles, that sort of thing. The hmm. um, question is, if this is a rented a property, rented property, how do you get away with this alcove? <laughs> it, you'd be surprised. I'm pretty confident she doesn't know about the alcove. <laughs> <laughs> if, well, you don't know the plans. That could just be a thing that's fair. <laughs> yes, but how would she not know about it and uh, therefore not check it? Is my question. Oh, uh, she hasn't checked the room. Oh, I think she did. No, she, she, no, came... she let the police in. No, no, no. She no, came. No, she came. Right. Basically, she came in. Just sort of went, like had a brief glance around. No body. Good. Okay. Basically, <laughs> okay. not my problem. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Let's not linger still, in a crime well, scene. Well, well in, the ca- in that case, the rent still paid for the month, so yeah, yeah. no need to worry about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so in that case, after giving a quick glimpse around, if there's nothing of note, mm. I'll say, let's go back now. That that The thing about meeting with Jess was like an hour ago. We should probably be really quick about this. In <laughs> fact, I'd say we should probably call them up and tell them to go meet on on the street. Now I think about it, because if this is like just gone, because this is like uh, this is really bad. <laughs> yes. yes. Why we did we need to go find Jess now? Yeah, like Shit. right now. <coughs> like, why weren't we thinking about this a second ago? <laughs> like, I'm just gonna call both of you. <laughs> just like, it, we're both it, like oh, we're both in the coffee shop. Like, what the fuck? Just no, we need to go to Jess's now. We're yeah, going Jess's immediately. Ch- change, Jess? change of plan. Uh, Jess is Jess is like Jess, the girlfriend of um, Jack. Am I actually being in immediate danger? danger. Uh, it's it. just like listen, Jack just is just. Ju- Where are we going? Jack is meeting Address. with Jess in an hour. Address. Call the street. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just Can you drive? Car. Oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's I like have a car. my my military brain has finally kicked in and gone. <laughs> So this guy is mentally unstable, and now he's meeting with somebody. Hmm. <laughs> it's like, Maybe they might be in danger. Could have been perhaps. worse. There could have been no gun there. <laughs> That's actually true. So um, <laughs> it's better that there is a gun there. Unless he has malt. Oh, this is it's America. America. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, we've got to go. <laughs> so, so what, what's so the alien, by the way? Uh, you're gas, in gas, Massachusetts. Gas. We're in Massachusetts. No, we're following speed laws. As, as a note, um, as you, I sh- well, you assume you go out, you leave quite swiftly. Oh, we found some stuff. All right, it's fine. And then you leave the, uh, leave Sarah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> as a note, this time of, as it's getting to like midday, um, just past lunch hour, probably. Yeah. Um, the streets are quite empty-ish now. Mm-hmm. Everyone's either at lectures or at work and yep. so on and so forth. And when you, you saw sort of arrive at College Street at a similar-ish time, you may mm-hmm. be like a minute or two ahead of them. Mm-hmm. Um, it's nigh on empty. Mm-hmm. Nobody's here. Um, most of the people, like, except maybe some elderly folks who live further down the road. Mm-hmm. But everywhere else is quite... Wait. Wait. You said you had a gun, but you don't have it on you. One sec. I'm literally just Googling something. What are you Googling? Gun laws in Massachusetts. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe it's an open carry state. It's not open carry. Um, well, would you have your gun in your car? Or would you have it at home? So is it in your car? Yes. Cool. So, in that case, we arrive, and as we get, I'll be like, bring bring the gun. (laughs) We might need it. Yes. So, um, I assume it doesn't take long before they arrive? No, they arrive first. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Then I'll I'll wave you down, and I'll be like... (laughs) Oh, wow. You literally just go and buy a license. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) It's America. America. And then the gun laws are like that. Uh, uh, License, please, to own firearm. Thank you. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Yeah. Um, okay. So yeah, um, uh, in that case, I'll tell them it's just like yeah, we got we um hacked into um his computer. Mm-hmm. I know. So yeah, it's, it's now like, it's now um, like yes. This is what we found. So here's here's an example. Here, here's an explanation. 
Jessica lives on the far end of Church Road. Yeah. An area that has fallen Cold. into some disrepair after the mostly elderly owners of the properties have died or left. Yep. She lives in a two-story house that's mostly well kept. The garden could do with some tending and one of the window panels uh, is sort of falling off the top floor. Um, even oh. f- from here you can see that the front door is unlocked and open. Um, you bastard. What? I know. <laughs> I know the future. I know there's going to be something in this room that will try and... Yeah. Bed. Yep. <laughs> there was the fucking bed, you monster. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm fucking staying in the car. Uh, I'm small and weak. I'm staying here. I'm going in with with you, Aiden. Are you you could have a laptop. Um, oh, yeah, I'll give you the laptop and I'll give you the books. Okay. And then me and Aiden will head in. Mm. Is that a plan? Yes. Um, if you read anything in the book, like, don't enter the I'm house. I'm not reading the book yet. Oh. I see. That's a terrible idea. I see. You could, you, I'll as, explain that later. I don't know, you, could, you could skim read stuff. Uh, skim reading doesn't give you any effects or grant any mythos, but you get a general outline on what oh, okay. the book is about. I'll skim through, like, the start and then the end of the journal, just okay. so I sort of get a gleam of D- what talk. he's writing about and then how it ended. So I'll do you two, and then I'll get to you going into the house. Okay. okay. Um, first, the start, it is quite simply just a, quite an accurate English translation mm-hmm. of, you can assume, uh, The Shadow of the Spiral. Yeah. Um, the end, though, mm-hmm. um, let me get to my notes about it. Um, yes, the final 15 pages are just the words, it hurts, repeated over and over until he begins writing it on the back of the journal. Okay. Oh, okay. good. Um, I don't know what that is. About the book itself, it takes, it will probably take you about, like, you get a faint idea on what it is. It seems to be a term that goes into detail about the significance of the spiral to certain death cults dealt with by the Roman militia and the time of the ancient empire. Mm-hmm. It details accounts by soldiers and captured prisoners, as well as indicating the importance to the spiral to many of the cult's gods, specifically ones that worshipped him of agonies. The name Kizo, Bailaga, and Kulu come up uh, in the text frequently. What was that? Um, the names Kizo, Bailaga, and Kulu come up in the text frequently. So I know this for Kulu. Okay. Um, that's what you get from like essentially a skim. You, you catch I, those names. Have I heard it? Is that because I've recognised them? You recognise them like the names of like uh, cult gods sometimes are yeah. a bit iffy, especially when they're so old as into like ancient Roman Empire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you could you make me a uh, computer use roll to try and get into this laptop? It's on Windows ten. It's got better security. One of yeah. you, one of you, have us on a call while you're going in there. So if things go to shit, we can call like What's someone that? to help. Is that a... that's an eighty eight? No. <laughs> This thing you're, is you're, fucking tough. <laughs> you're going to need a, probably a couple of hours to actually Not get a into car. it. Wasn't this laptop also on like one percent? It was on. It's, it as like basically it's on about twenty percent when you get it. By the okay, time by the time you oh, okay. you like you try it for about twenty minutes and it just <laughs> dies. Okay. But then we cut. Can you have me on a call while you're going in there so things go to shit? And... <clears throat> we can call the police. Yeah, like if you if you, if something really bad happens. Like, I don't know, if, if you fall out a window because you get hit by a bed, I could call, like, <laughs> an ambulance. Cool. So, yes. Fun. Okay. You, you enter the house. There are no lights on. There seems to be a lack of power. Okay, well, I'm just going to pull you're, the knife bit out on my on the ground right floor that's comprised... Sort of as a. Wait, did we not knock? No, it's the door's the door open. The door's open. open. The, door, oh, the door's shit. unlocked. Yeah, this is why I've got my knife out. <laughs> the ground floor is comprised sort of a long hallway with doors to the left and right, which go to two different rooms. Two doors on the left and two on the right. <coughs> At the far end uh, is uh, a room that sort of uh, sort of goes forward, then goes left, then goes upwards to the upstairs. Um, on the left, as you sort of glance through. As the doors are open, there's a storage room and then an office workspace, and on the right um, is a living room and then a kitchen. Could both of you roll me listen? This is good. Uh, 
28. I succeed. You succeed. Oh, I, got, I failed. I got one below a fumble, so that's fine. <laughs> so you, as you go through, you do hear faintly as the drip, drip, drip that bomb? upstairs. You can just... It's very faint, but from how quiet the house is and the outside, even the wind is so low that you can hear this I'll just slowly upstairs. put my arm up like this, stopping him from moving forward, and I'll be like... Do you go upstairs? Yeah. No. Would you like? <laughs> no. I will be clearing the rooms before you move past them. Thank you. Okay. I'll give a description then, <laughs> because otherwise you're going to get sneak attacked. So the storage room is nothing of note. Yeah, uh, I'm, just I'm literally just the office my head in and my gun. Jessica's office is sort of a modern white room with a desk at one end, a top of various drawing tools, and a PC attached to a large drawing tablet. Bookshelves surround the rooms, as well as a glass. Display cabinet with figurines and plastic wrapped wrapped comic books. Mm -hmm. On the right um, is um, again a a map. By the way, it it doesn't need a map. Okay, it's literally hallway door 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 stairway up. Um, Why have you gone so quiet? um, She's on like the phone. On the right is (laughs) just hang up. (laughs) A living room and then the kitchen. Um, Nothing of note. Do you want to go again? Right. Okay. So I I peeked I peeked in. With my with my gun at the ready and mm. nothing's jumped out at me or anything like that, and we're all good. So I signal you with military hand signals you just that I don't. Off on me. <laughs> yeah. That's really bad. I'll just text you and be like, "BRB." <laughs> and I sort of motion. I, I sort of motion. <laughs> stay low, stay quiet. Yeah. So I'll kind of in my. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not the best at this, but I kind of squat down and slowly go up. Do you guys want to roll me a sneak? Yeah, yes, that's probably a good idea. Mm-hmm. That's because far right. I'm Stealth. not in the car. Is there... Stealth. Yes. Is there like a side gate around this house? Shit. Not 22. No, okay. Was so it? Fine. 22. I fail. Okay. Uh, I got a pass for that. Okay. I succeeded that one. What did you 22? get? Mm-hmm. I got um, 23. 23. 23. Oh, no. Oh, no. So, you aren't the most stealthy person, but you immediately, like, you stop making noise with your feet. As you move upwards, um, again, as a note, just to make sure you did um, tick your computer use, didn't you? Yes, I did. Good. Actually, I'm going to use some luck just because I was on 22, uh, so I'm just going to give myself a 20, so it's a pass. Okay. Um, so yes, you continue to sneak. Um, on the upstairs is laid out quite similarly. Two rooms on each side, um, though only one is open. And it's the far left. The rest are closed. Okay. So you. So how many doors you, are there again? One, two, one, two. This one is open. Okay. I'm still going to check the other rooms. Um, I'm going to do my best to open them very quietly. As a note, you can tell that the dripping noise is coming from that open door. Do not go further beyond than I have gone. Yeah. You open the door on the left. It is a, I'm just going to stay behind you. <laughs> um, it is a spare bedroom. Um, hasn't been used, really. Okay. On the right is a bathroom, immediately. The bath is full, as if someone was preparing to have one. You can still see the hot water steaming. Oh, Lord. Is the tap on? No. It's right. been turned off. Wait, so, so we've just cleared all the way up to the bathroom? So, it basically, it's... Bedroom, spare bedroom, bathroom, open door, closed door. Now, do you check into the open door or the closed door first? Go close. Are they parallel with each other? Uh, no, but this one is slightly, the one on the right is slightly behind. Do so the, how long the, the closed door, door is slightly closer to me? Yes. Then yes, I check that. Uh, you open that into um, well. another spare bedroom. Um, this one is basically barren. You can assume this is... Just a bed's been thrown in here in case anything needed to happen. Yeah, lock that door. <laughs> um, yeah, we're locking that door. <laughs> uh, so the thing, um, we can see the steam coming off from the bathroom of the door. Yeah. Um, I would be like, that's been here recently. <laughs> oh, it was about to be used. Yeah, but, even... but if it's still yeah, warm, it's still steam, it has still... to be a, of a certain heat to steam. So someone's been here recently. <laughs> oh, well. And... As you move in to the door onto your far oh, left, the opening 
the door as it is only slightly open, you have to creak it open. To the master bedroom, I will think this is. A slowness overcomes you, and faintly you hear a drip, drip. Your hands suddenly feel clammy and hard to control as you open the door and your eyes widen and shock overtakes you. <clears throat> what you had maybe been fearing is true. Blood is splayed across the floor, dried into the blue carpet partially. Lying on the bed is the corpse of who you can only assume is Jessica, a deep cut across her chest and the right side of her head has been smashed in. Skull and brain matter tangle with the hair. You almost didn't see it, but the words force your eyes away. Spread across the walls in an arc surrounding the bed, each letter tapering down to highlight the body. In blood, it reads, stop looking. Romy's sanity. Not huh? Something I've heard. No, no. No, no that wasn't in your dream. No. Oh, that's sanity, please. Yeah, I succeeded. I... You succeeded. You take two points of sanity damage. I, I'm just like... <laughs> did, you, did you succeed or... I know, I giga failed. <laughs> did you only want d10? This is not looking good for me, boys. I mean, you could roll one. Actually, yeah, that's a good point. I can just roll a d10. That, that was a hard success. A two. That doesn't matter for sanity. Dang it. You take two <laughs> points of sanity damage. Same as him. It's, it does shock you more, though. You have never seen a corpse in your life, probably. No. I have. And this not, is not a real corpse. This is a violent He's death. Desensitized by games. <laughs> Other than that, <laughs> pretty oh, fucked. Yeah. Games don't this prepare is... you for smell. I mean, I've probably seen worse corpses. <laughs> yeah, but you don't see worse corpses. You don't it's see. Kind of you see battle corpses, right? Yes. You don't see like ritualistic yeah. corpse. Well, this seems like a savage killing. It looks is like there... looks. Well, you could roll me a medicine to see what you can discern from Ooh. this. Well, it looks like blunt force trauma would probably a spiral thing from his I desk. Have... I don't think there's any point to that because well. I have a one percent in medicine. Oh. I'm still gonna roll it. What someone took medicine? No, I didn't. T- I didn't take medicine. I did. You have medicine. Ah. Mm. Well, some, not much though. Uh, I'll I'll call you. Oh okay. <coughs> hey, what's going what, on? Did you get a one? I got a two. I'm gonna use a luck. Um, <laughs> so you don't obviously you won't improve on this because it wasn't a natural one, but. You can determine that she's been hit with an axe across her chest and had died when some blunt weapon, something that must have the force of a sledgehammer, was smashed across her face, almost hitting her directly in the eye. Okay, I reckon it's a conch how's it shell. going? <laughs> I reckon it's a conch shell. The spiral thing. Okay, um, um, we're leaving now. Yeah. I literally grab your arm. Yeah, wait, no, wait, I'm gonna take photos first. <laughs> uh, okay. Can you roll me a spot hidden, both of you? Yes. Because we need to leave and call the police. <laughs> uh, that's standard procedure in this situation. Uh, that's a 12. That's success. That's not only success. That's a hard success. That's a... Uh, I would say you tick your spot hidden for this. Nice. I fail. You spot... <laughs> You spot three things. <laughs> first, first thing you notice as mm. you're trying to look away, there are footprints. It must be at least size 13, maybe to 15. Big feet, heavy feet, footsteps, trudging across the floor. Rick. Sitting on the desk, that is the window facing the street. Um, so you see, um, there's a note, which is. 2CF J15. I think it's a Corsair or something. 2 is it? 2CF J15. I think it's a Corsair or something. As you as it you looks reach to for be, this note. It looks to be a license plate number she I has noted down. Oh, I see. And finally, there's a laptop in the corner of the room. The screen is on but cracked. Looking at it, you can immediately see a message exchange between Mess- Jessica and a friend. I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take it. I'm going to take the entire laptop, yeah. Okay. I mean, you can also just have the message exchange because you'll yeah. see it yeah. um, wherever I have put my notes. I would, I would just look at the message exchange and not touch it. Um, because again, I'd like to call the police and I'd like for our 
identifying identify things mm. to not be all over the crime scene. No, but I'm taking the entire thing. So I'm not going to leave anything for them to identify. Okay, fine. Uh, the, um, I'll read it out in the same question. Um, so, hey, there are two people who have been outside my house for like Hello. half an hour. Uh, oh god, have you called the police? Well, they haven't done anything, so I sort of can't. I don't think at least. Who are they? Two people. One's massive and muscly. The other's more lanky. They both got black hair. Small guy that has a uh, circle goatee thing. Uh, not down their license plate or something. Okay, fuck. So, right. So. That's not like one of our license plates, wait, right? Is this the wrong no, it's not. Oh, you. <laughs> what? This is. Ah, I think. Okay. So I think this is the other way around. So the, this side is not Kerry, this side is us. Because the most nicest plate written down is here. Yes. Which means that Jessica was this person. Yes. Okay, Jessica's right. left. So that's uh, right. Person that's is right. That way, right. It might have been the wrong way around. Yeah. It, it, is it? Yeah. Yes. Oh, I apologize. <laughs> that's okay. Um, so if anything, that's really useful to us. So. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, he didn't show. The phone. He doesn't have the phone. This can't oh. ask the phone. Oh no. And or alternatively, he was. He did have the phone, but he gave the address to somebody else, or somebody else took the address. Well, they were checking where she was. Right. Because she said, "Of course, come meet me at my house," and then attach the location. Anyway, um, they know where this is. On, that me on the messaging service, yeah. um, does does it have the messaging between... Or her and James? Her and James. Uh, Jack, Jack even. It does. Uh, it does, it'll be the same thing we saw. It, it, it is exactly the same. Does it have a find, uh, find my phone, find my friends? Because if they're part no, of No, but that. if her phone is on her, then her phone might. Her phone might. Yes. Because if they're linked up, you can do that. But, um... Okay, we'll try it on the computer first. I guess that would be rolling... We we should get Charlie. Charlie will know how to do this. Okay, can we take the laptop to Charlie? Yes, let's just That's take the laptop. Um, let's avoid people seeing this as much as possible. Uh, do we have any... Especially people that are not battle-hardened. Military people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like me, for example. <laughs> um, or people that have researched deeply into the occult. Um, question. Um, so the desk's in here. Yes. Is there like, is her phone just out? Is, is her phone here at all? I can't see her phone at all. Can I check the... This room is clearly, there was clearly some sort of a struggle here. You can't pinpoint how it happened, but it definitely ended with her on the bed. <laughs> oh, that's not good. She's, her, she's still got her clothes on, right? Yeah. Everything's fine. Can I make... Um, what role would it be mm -hmm. to look and see if I can figure out what sort of struggle happened? Um, would it be a, a survival role? Uh, I don't know. What would it be? Um, I would argue that it is either... Maybe you could, you could argue it's either history... No, no. history. Or... Um, I'd, I'd say survival or maybe first aid, I'd, but probably survival. I'd say medicine really? might be the one. Maybe? No, because you can well, Medicine, told medicine how would she was, be for how she was the actual injuries. Yeah. I'd say survival would be yeah. the situation. Yeah, I'd say survival then. Survival seems like it should be... Um, Unless there's be. like a tracking skill. There is tracking, but tracking is for like finding people. Yeah. I okay. thought track was for running. No. It's not <laughs> <what> it <was laughs> like, so you like four times. Okay. Um, we'll pause it there and then we can continue later.